Want the best job in the world? Clock in with the best management games to play in 2021. Some people spend all day just waiting for their job to end, but for the rest of us, we're actually waiting till the real work begins. Away from the 9 to 5, we have much more important roles to fill, running entire hospitals or keeping deadly dinosaurs in check. Our cyber schedule is very busy and varied thanks to the management genre, and we wouldn't have it any other way. This is where spreadsheets come to life, where statistics are our friends, where clocking in is our favorite part of the day. So for those of you looking to fill your Google Calendar with even more things to do, we've collected the best management games for some overtime fun in 2021. We even have a task to get you started with right now. Just hit the subscribe button and you'll be rewarded with all our wonderful videos. Now that's complete, here are the best management games to play right now. There are a whole series of movies telling us this is a bad idea, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, we shouldn't try to play God and bring dinosaurs back, but we like to think in game form, it's okay. Jurassic World Evolution is back and better than ever with a second game in the series. It's the same park management as you try to keep dinos happy and visitors alive. But this time, we have a total of 75 prehistoric creatures to pick from, including flying predators. If it wasn't dangerous enough already, now we have to watch the skies. Then there's the chance to get deeper into to customization with new places to set up a park, fresh buildings, and guests that are even more demanding. Plus, if you're a movie buff, you can enjoy the campaign that picks up from Fallen Kingdom. Let's see how you handle dinos on the loose. Humans are long dead, so beavers inherit the earth in Timberborn. As a self-proclaimed lumber punk, your buck-toothed brethren must build a wooden empire, tearing down rotted skyscrapers for the occasional metal scrap. Then you take on water engineering to channel rivers for power and resources. They are beavers after all. It's a classic city-building management game that also plays into the survival elements of titles like Frostpunk. Each year, a dry season falls, meaning your precious down and waterworks stop working. So to avoid production halting or your colony dying, a balance must be struck between hoarding resources and expansion. Timberborn is the kind of management where one wrong move could spell disaster. You'll have to learn how to thrive in each season and raise your wooden city to glory. And we mean raise. You can build vertically, really maximizing your space for some damn good creations. Well, a beaver's gotta rest sometime, right? They say never work with children or animals, but we couldn't say no to this little guy, or this one, or, well, any of them. Planet Zoo is the cutest management game imaginable. It's all about getting creative to build the ultimate zoo. You can design enclosures to keep animals entertained, wow guests, and help aid the conservation of species across the world. Then it's up to you to keep an eye on finances and animal health along the way. You'll also notice that, no, it isn't new to this year, but a few great DLCs means it's definitely worth going back to. In spring, we welcomed sun bears with the Southeast Asia pack, meerkats in Africa pack, and most recently, moose, beavers, and many more thanks to the North America pack. That's tons of animals to start building for. Now, if you excuse us, we have important, adorable work to do. <laughs> It's okay to admit that at one point we mixed all the shampoos and shower wash together to make a giant potion. At the time, it was our only way of living out our dreams, but no more. Introducing Potion Craft Alchemist Simulator. You take over a rundown shop and turn it into a thriving business, selling your magical elixirs. It's a great mix of managing your shop by haggling with merchants and dealing with customers, while carefully experimenting with alchemy to make things to sell. Your garden produces new ingredients each day, which you grind mix and boil into potions, following an alchemy map to discover new effects. One potion might heal, another produces light or fire. Experimenting is part of the fun and adds a little chaos to the usually strict management of games in this genre. Now we just need to work out how to fit a witch's hat under our headset. Management has never looked so good. Mini Motorways is a colorful puzzle management game about joining houses and businesses with efficient road infrastructure. 
but that's easier said than done when they randomly spawn and you haven't planned ahead. Match colors together, connect cars, and try to keep things running as space gradually runs out. If businesses can't get cars to visit in time, your urban planning career is over. It starts out simply enough, but gradually, like a regular city, things start to build on top of each other. Luckily, the simplistic design means, unlike a regular city, it stays clean and beautiful no matter how many roads twist around each other. It's definitely on the strategy side of management where forward thinking will make or break your motorway. Maybe road management is our calling. Who knew? Okay, so The Sims isn't technically new this year, but with the massive free update and some seriously fun expansions, it may as well be. We've ended our annual six-month hiatus to be sucked back into filling every waking hour with household management once again. You can find everything new to The Sims 4 this year in our 2021 update video. So between lot challenges, new sim creation stuff, and bunk beds, there's a lot to keep our virtual dollhouses busy. But what really got our desire for control going this year was the cottage living expansion. A whole new town to explore, new lots to fill, and the addition of farms. Now our sims can live off-grid, befriend local wildlife, and take care of cows, chickens, and alpacas. Then turn all the milk, eggs, and wool into food and products to sell in the local village. It's our full cottage core fantasy. You've taken over 2D worlds with Factorio. You've automated in 3D with Satisfactory. Now it's time to take over entire planets with Dyson Sphere Program. You start out pillaging the surface resources of a single planet, getting trees and rocks to build up your base with lovely automated production lines. Then, if you keep things under control well enough, you'll be able to one day branch out to an intergalactic industrial empire. Never let a single planet be what holds you back again. You never need to run out of space for factories if you can jet off to find more, be they planets or stars. We're not fussy when all we want is power. To start with surface level micromanagement and then take on multiple solar systems till you control the whole galaxy is the most we think we've ever managed or ever really can. Now we just need an automated coffee machine to help us keep up control. The animal management isn't over with the newly released Let's Build a Zoo. This is an adorably pixelated sim that starts off about setting up a zoo and managing animal happiness versus human entertainment, but it quickly expands into something much more complex. You need to manage everything from specific food for each critter to staff recruitment to breeding programs to trade with other zoos across the world. And that's before you even start making some questionably moral choices. You're faced with scenarios such as helping a stray dog or or passing it off as a lion for guests. Hey, it's a creative idea. And if you like being imaginative, perhaps the DNA splicing to create weird and wonderful animal hybrids is your calling. So that's hundreds of items to decorate with, tons of animals to pick from, and all the questionable science you didn't know you needed. We've tried our hand at managing theme parks, we've even run hospitals, but now it's time to turn up the bass and put on the best music festival we can. Festival Tycoon is all about building an entertainment company and seeing it grow from your first show in a field to headline acts from across the globe. You set up the grounds with everything guests need to have a headbanging time, from security to drinks to toilets. Then you organize sponsors to get hype and money flooding in. From there, you can start the lineup. Book bands from across genres, select the night's run times, and make sure to give the divas all they want. Festival Tycoon is only an early access, but you can still bring your festival vision to life from a chill Woodstock to Instagram-worthy Coachella. Oh, what's this wicker man doing here? We have our own plans. It's not out till the end of the month, but Farming Simulator 22 is on the way. This is the latest in the series of agricultural management. It can take you from setting up a few crops to a wheat-based empire, or whatever speciality you choose, or maybe you'll take all the animals, crops, and business on. Nothing is stopping you, other than bad management, but you wouldn't have gotten this far if that was you. Farming Sim 22 is plowing straight ahead with new building tools, seasons, beekeeping, production chains, and more to really test your organization. So set your alarm for 5 a.m. and breathe in that fresh digital air. So those are the best management games to play right now. Let us know what overtime work you've been keeping busy with in the comments below. If you can't get enough of ticking off tasks, then make sure to subscribe to the Logitech G channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload.
Right, back to the night shift. 